Hello viewers, this is Nobel Shah. Once again, welcome you all to my networking tutorials. Today, I'm going to discuss about Cisco Packet Tracer software and how to create a basic networking using the Cisco Packet Tracer software. So, to start my tutorial, I have already installed Cisco Packet Tracer software. You can easily download it from the web and you can install it in your machine once you install the software just double click the icon you found on your desktop and the cisco packet tracer software will open well uh, today i will just discuss about the basic networking and how we can create basic networking using uh, switch hub and computer or laptop devices using the Cisco packet tracer software so as you can see uh, this is the Cisco packet tracer software and uh, there are lots of options around it uh, gradually you will be familiar with all the options but for the time being I just need to show you uh, some basic router and switches and the in devices you found in the left bottom side of the software so just check the left bottom uh, in the software section and you will get some routers switches hub wireless devices and connections options and also you you will get some icons of uh, in devices like computer uh, security devices all those things so uh, let's start with some um, devices first like switches let me click the switches icon and you will get, get some switches list just uh, beside of the switches options here we can see that there are some switches like 2950 series 2950 T series 2960 generic generic lots of things so I just need to choose the option which is called generic or you can choose anyone if you want and just click the generic options and click the blank area okay just place anywhere you want and then I need to uh, choose some in devices like PC uh, let me choose the in devices and click the generic option and take one PC one desktop PC and you can also take the laptop PC if you want the second option is for laptop just click the laptop option and click here okay uh, let me take another machine at another desktop machine okay so now I have two desktop machine and one laptop machine that I will uh, connect with the switch and we will try to ping from one machine to another machine and if we get being reply successfully then we will make sure that the networking is successful between these three pieces okay to do that first we need to set the connection between the switch and the pieces so to set the connection just click the connection option once again from the bottom left hand side of the software and then Mm, to create a connection between a machine between a computer and a switch you just need a, a cable which is called straight through cable uh, so let me take the straight through cable from this option so this one is the straight through cable click the straight through cable and click on your PC and choose the first Ethernet 0 option and then go to the switch and click the switch and here it will uh, show you the available switch ports like first ethernet 0 1 1 1 2 1 like this so let me choose the first option which is 0 1 okay so my first pc is connected with the switch now so in the similar way you can select the connection once again and choose the straight through cable and create connection for the second PC okay 
so now i am co connecting my laptop okay so now three this three machine is actually connected with my switch and if i configure the ip address for all of these machines then the machine will be able to communicate with each other so from the first machine let me configure the ip address just click the machine and it will open the window uh, for the configuration just go to the config option and here you can see there is an option called fast ethernet zero click here and you will see there is a option called ip address under static option click the ip address option blank area and specify the ip address for this demonstration i am using a class a ip address say 10.10.10.2 .10 .10 and the subnet mask 255.0.0.0 so my first machine ip has been set and uh, similar way click the second machine go to the config option go to the first ethernet option and specify the ip address 10.10.10.3 .10 .10 and the subnet mask it will come automatically and close the window and the similar way configure the laptop ip address as well first ethernet 10.10.10.3 .10 .10 .10 say 4 okay so now we should be able to communicate with each other and to check whether the connection successfully created or not just click one machine and go to the desktop tab click the command prompt option and here you can check your ip whether it is configured successfully or not just ping your own ip first you can check your ip what is your ip address by using a command which is called ip config hit enter type ip config and hit enter it will show you the uh, ip address of your machine which is 10. Point 10.10.2 so just ping this ip address ping space 10.10.10.2 hit enter you are getting reply that means the ip address configured successfully now try to ping another machine uh, which is 10.10.10.3 look you are getting reply means these two machine have uh, connection and now you can communicate with each other now try to ping another machine which is 10.10.10.4 you are getting reply so this is the way we can actually uh, connect pcs with a switch and we can test the connectivity whether the connection successfully created or not so thanks very much for today in my next tutorial i will discuss with cisco router how to configure router and how to uh, create connection between router and switch those sort of things thanks thanks once again uh, bye bye